This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. This is Rebecca. I'm calling from San Diego. I have a few stories, but the one that come forth in my mind when I hear your podcast, I'm 36 now. I was 16 at the time. Um, my parents decided to take me on a family vacation down to Ocotlan, Mexico, which is a very small town, um, about 45 minutes away from Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, so there, it's a small town. It's a two-story, two-story home. They're primarily attached together, um, very like Mexican um, villas type of homes, um, very, very old. Um, I guess some type of like revolution went on close by. Anywho, um, we ended up, I think it must have been like the first night we were there. Yes. It was the first night we were there. Um, it was my sister and I at the time I was 16. My sister was about 14. Um, I was very jet lag and I was asked if I wanted to take a nap to go upstairs on the second floor. Um, so I said, sure, uh, I'll go ahead and take a nap. And I apologize for the uh, airplane sounds. I work right by the airport and I'm at lunch right now. So I said, sure, I'll go ahead and take a nap. And I was asleep and nobody was in the room and I was just sleeping very, you know, sound asleep. And all of a sudden I clearly felt someone slap me in the face, like slap me. And I woke up startled and I was like, Lorraine, stop it. Lorraine's my sister. I said, like, what, what the hell are you doing? Like I'm sleeping and you just slap me. But once I opened my eyes and I verbalized that there's no one in the room. So I assume she ran out of the room and was downstairs. So when I go downstairs, everyone's gathered at the table having dinner. And I said, where's Lorraine? Where is she? She startled me. She slapped me while I was sleeping. And everyone kind of like giggled. And my parents were like, what do you mean? She's downstairs, you know, probably outside. And everyone in the dinner table who's from there said, oh, they're like, they they say the upstairs bedroom where you were at is haunted. And I just looked at them and I said, what? Why would it go slap me, you know? So I let it go. And that was my only incident. But my parents also slept in the same room because it was a double king size bed. And um, that's, they, they arranged to stay for us to stay in that bedroom. And the next morning while having breakfast, my dad and mom say together that they felt that someone was pulling the blanket slowly off of them and that they would reach over and like pull the blankets back. And like, they kind of accused each other of, Hey, you know, what are you doing? And we would travel there every December uh, for the holidays. So they were like accusing of each other and they were kind of like giggling again during the breakfast table and they were saying how they felt each other and accused each other of the blankets actually being pulled. And then again, my great grandmother, my great grand aunt and an uncle who were there, direct family members from my parents told them that, yes, indeed, that is one of the things that happens in the room. So we were only there for one week. The third incident within that week was my dad woke up. The bedroom, the bathroom was in the first floor. So dad, there's, again, the homes are gathered together, only divided by a wall, just the way Mexican homes are made um, down there. And so my dad says he got up and he used the restroom um, downstairs. And all of a sudden he hears someone banging on the metal door. And he assumed it was my tío Ramiro's daughter, which they were the direct neighbors. Again, there is a door that is directly attached to the home we were staying at. So my dad said, wow, he, again, discussing at the dining table. That's a Mexican thing to gather up at the table. We're discussing how, um, you know, this incident in the middle of the night and how the little girl and I forgot her name woke up and was banging on the door asking to get out to connect to the to the home and again they were like giggling and they said it was part of the same haunting or ghostly situation going on in the home nothing malicious it's just another thing that happens they often accuse a little girl of knocking at the door which is not it's just part of the haunting so anyway i just thought i'd call in to share these stories um, 
I've called in once before. I don't, I don't really know if they were ever aired, but if not, that's okay. I just wanted to share with you and tell you guys that I love this show, and I will call back with more, more little incidents. Um, you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.